Well, as students gear up to get back to school, their safety is a concern, not just for parents, but also for pediatricians. Two on your side's Liz Lewin is in the newsroom with more from a local pediatrician on why he hopes safety measures are still being taken seriously come fall. Liz? Well, hi, Mary Alice. Yeah, we know the countdown for back to school is officially on, but as you mentioned, that's not the only thing on people's minds right now. Safety in and outside of the classroom is also top of mind. Everybody, including teachers and staff, uh, as well as students over age of two really should mask, irregardless of immunization status. Locally, Oshai Children's Hospital says they aren't currently seeing an uptick in COVID hospitalizations among kids, but concerns are still rising, especially among pediatricians like Dr. Jonathan Daniels, who worries, especially given how contagious the Delta variant is. We have to go back to the basics. Whenever you have a medical issue, you go back to the basics. How can you mitigate what's going on? And that's going to be hand washing, face masking, face masking, and I call it physical distancing. Dr. Daniels practices in Buffalo and says he's concerned about the trend he's seeing jump state to state, especially as kids head back into the classroom. Pediatric hospitals in states like Florida, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Texas are all seeing spikes in cases as beds are filling up and overflow is a growing concern. But that's not the only one. Because we're dealing with COVID, there's still other illnesses out there. There's going to be colds from different viruses. There are going to be sinus infections and allergies as we go through the change of season. And the ramifications of that, even though you're, you may know your child doesn't have COVID, we don't know until we know. Just last week, the American Academy of Pediatrics reached out to the FDA, urging them to focus on a vaccine for kids ages 12 and under. This comes as 94,000 cases were added within the last week alone, a steady increase from July. My hope is that those that have the ability to make decisions will ultimately put their students, their faculty members, their staff as a priority and make those decisions based on the recommendations by our scientific experts. Well, Dr. Daniel says that right now is a good time for parents to start getting your kids used to some of those basic safety measures again. For instance, try coming up with creative ways to encourage them to wear their masks again for longer periods of time. In the newsroom, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.